our tale of the tape for this Bantamweight fight. So a more than five year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with some differences in height, but big differences in reach. All right, here now, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC Bantamweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 15 wins, one loss. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Glendale, Arizona, USA, Sugar Sean O'Malley. And now we his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 19 wins, 7 losses, and 1 no contest. He stands 5 feet 6 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Sao Paulo, Brazil, Pedro, the young Punisher, Munoz! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean, third man in the octagon for this one. Ready. Round one is upon us between two of the best fighters in this division. Hard to find anything resembling a glaring weakness on either side when you break down the floor. There are no weaknesses in these guys. These guys are as well-rounded as they come. They both can wrestle, both can grapple, both can strike. They can do it all. And these are the matchups that we dream of as MMA fans. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Big kick. Outstanding in the body there. He's the taller fighter. Might as well put that size to good use, and he certainly did so there. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. And he landed the right hand there. Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. He blocked the punch. Just missing on the high kick there. Two minutes have expired off the round one clock here. Big ball punch man. Now we get back to range. Right hand on point. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. with that straight left hand. There you go. Look for a shot. 15 seconds. Can't take many of those, you better check. Another shot lands upstairs. Man, it's almost like he's got a range finder out there. Just too easy as he connects with another good series of punches. There. If you're boxing this guy and only boxing him, you will be in trouble. All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of it. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands. His opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. 
Ready to fight? Ready. All right, round two. Nice loop and punch. Try to establish that jab. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, locking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Lands a big elbow there. Take down, no problem. Left hand punches the clinch. Just over three minutes to go in round two. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not. There, his opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's, a, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Huh. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. Big body kick lands. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. to the midsection. Got to think his opponent's going to feel that. Oh! It's over now. He got it! You knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short night for his opponent, but that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. All right, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight. But don't ignore all the work he did with his hands. And give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like he got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 41 seconds of round number 2. Playing the winner by knockout, Sugar Shalomba! Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need a ticket to the after party tonight. I mean, this is what dreams are made of. You dream of the knockout like this, and then the party after, where you and all your coaches get to celebrate the great handiwork.